every Yolngu person knows their stories. Year Kala Barks reflect reverberations of history from the time that Australia was invaded, Aboriginal people have asked that our views be listened to. This is not just a painting. This is politics. These are political tools. These are political statements. When it first came, the mining company, they started to go in and just dig the land without consulting the Yolngu people. When Howard was elected Prime Minister of Australia, I felt we were entering a period of danger. Wave after wave after wave, they were just destroying us. Horrible control mechanisms to put Aboriginal people back in their place. And that was a terrible time. We lost everything. One thing we forget is how brutal colonisation was, how brutal it was. We have to do this for Dad because he's the only one left and, you know, we have to bring it back home before he passes on. And there's something different with the bark petitions. They were designed to be sent away, but of this object surfacing, sort of seeming to want to go home. We need to educate the country on the history of the past, and that's the only point where we can join hands and, and walk on together. We're hoping for treaty. This is the big, big one, the, the With treaty. one mind, one heart, for all nations, to our